The Herdmans were the worst kids in the history of the world. They lied and stole and played with matches. They were so awful, you could hardly believe they were real. The Ralph, Imogene, Leroy, Claude, Ollie, and Gladys. They were skinny, stringy-haired, dirty, and all different sizes, with all different black and blue places where they clomped each other. Everybody stayed away from them. One day, they showed up at Sunday school. They stole money from the collection plate and drew mustaches on everyone in the Bible. They took over the annual Christmas pageant. The Herdmans didn't know the Christmas story. It didn't stop them from taking the parts for themselves. I'll be Mary! I'm going to be Joseph! Everyone else was afraid to volunteer. Three Herdmans. Leroy, Claude, and Ollie to be the wise men, and the worst herdman of them all to be the angel of the Lord. I'll be Dad. What is that? The teacher had to read the story to them, and about how... There was no room in the inn. Baby Jesus slept in the manger. They were shocked. They stuffed them out in the barn, and tied Jesus up in rags, and put him in a feed box? At least we put Gladys in a dresser drawer. The wise men bringing gifts of oil and frankincense. What good is smelly oil? If we're the wise men, let's bring pizza. Every year, someone would lend them their baby to be the baby Jesus, but not this year. No one would trust their baby with a herdman. Imogene offered to steal a baby from the supermarket. There's always babies in carts there. Uh, let's forget about the baby. We'll use a doll instead. Every rehearsal was an adventure. Out of this town, innkeeper. You don't belong here. We're, We're gonna, gonna run, run off with, with the, the baby because he's ours. ours. Fucking name him Jesus. He should be called Bill. Get away from that baby. You wise men might have germs. The Herdmans were stomping and destroying the props and decorations for the play. When Gladys found out that the angel of the Lord appeared out of nowhere in the black of night, she was sure it was out of amazing comics. Jazzum! She smacked the kid next to her. Gladys liked to smack things. Oh. Our Mary was loud and bossy, the wise men were sneaky, and the angel of the Lord came from outer space. This is going to be the worst Christmas pageant ever. Some people wanted to cancel the whole thing. The minister said, I don't think anyone will come to see it. They were all wrong. Everyone came just to see what the Herdmans would do. The curtains opened. Ralph and Imogene stood there frozen, like they weren't sure what to do. When they came in, Imogene had the slung the baby Jesus doll over her shoulder. Then she thumped it on its back twice hard. There was a gasp. It didn't seem right to burp the baby Jesus, but there was, that was the whole point of baby Jesus. He was a real person, and he started out as a real boy. Gladys came from behind the shepherds, shoving them out of the way and stepping on everyone's feet. Hey, and you, a child is born. He's in the barn. It didn't sound like it was the best news in the world. Here come the wise men. Right behind Gladys came the wise men. They didn't have frankincense, gold, oil, or pizza. Instead, they were carrying their Christmas ham. Here's a gift to baby Jesus. It's a ham. Sorry, it's not pizza. At the end of the pageant, everyone sang Silent Night. Imogene started to cry as if Christmas had just come over her all at once. Silent night, holy night. Everyone said there was something different this time, something special. And though nobody could say exactly what that something was, everyone agreed. That was the best Christmas pageant ever!